Good morning, entrepreneurs. So today we are continuing our series. It is the absolute last day about our series about craft shows. If you've missed the previous episodes, there were four other videos where I talked about craft shows, how to increase your sales, et cetera, et cetera. Um, excuse me. If you're joining me live or if you're watching this on another platform, be sure to like this video and of course, subscribe to my channel so you'll be notified every time I put out a new video to help you with your online business. So as I said, we are continuing our series about craft shows. And today's question is, how do I increase my sales at a craft show? And we have four ways to increase your sales at a craft show. And we're going to go through those in just a moment. If you're currently watching me live on TikTok, don't forget to like this video and follow me to get notified whenever I release a new video about how to grow your online business. All right, so let's jump right in. So number one way to increase your sales at a craft show is to make sure that you are displaying pricing. There is a psychological trigger where someone decides what something is worth. And if they can immediately tell what you're charging, it helps to persuade them that that's what it's worth. So if you're not displaying pricing, there's two problems with that. Number one, you don't get to set the value of your product. They choose it for themselves. And number two, most people will not ask how much something is. So by not displaying your pricing, you are actually going to turn off those who don't want to have to ask. And you risk those who are actually interested setting a price that's too low and then being unwilling to meet your price. So the number one way that you're going to increase your sales at your craft show is by displaying pricing on your products. The number two way that you are going to increase sales at your craft show is by bringing enough inventory. And we actually talked about inventory in a previous video. So if you want help figuring out how much inventory to bring, go back and watch all the videos about craft shows are in the same background. So these this dark blue. So go back and watch the other episodes. You can find the one about how to figure out how much inventory to bring. Um, so that is our second way. Make sure you bring enough inventory because if you don't bring enough inventory, what happens is you have an empty booth. And you, if you don't have anything to sell, guess what? You can't sell. <laughs> so the idea here is to bring more than you think you're going to sell so that you have the opportunity to sell more than you thought you could. So that is our second way to increase your sales at a craft show. We have two more ways to increase your show, your sales at a craft show. So stick with me. Don't forget to like this video and of course, follow my account so that you'll be notified every single time I go live or release a new video to help you with your online business. The third way that you can increase sales at your craft show is by talking to your customers. We did an entire episode about this as well. So find the episodes with the blue background and you'll be able to find that where I gave you ideas about what to talk about. I think I had like 10 ideas of things you can talk about with your customers so that you are keeping them engaged. Because one of the reasons they're going to buy your products is because of you. It isn't just about your products. So talking to your customers is a great way to get more sales at your craft show. And then our final way, our fourth way to increase your sales at a craft show is to make sure that your booth is interesting. Because by having an interesting booth, you will get more people to come to your booth, which means you will have higher likelihood of getting more sales. We also talked about having an interesting booth on a previous episode. So go back and watch that episode so that you can see exactly what you can do to make your booth more interesting. In case you're not aware, I also have a podcast and it's called Tech Challenge Makers Conquer E-Commerce. And we actually did an episode where I invited a guest, Tanya Elliott, to come on and talk specifically about craft shows. And she had some more pointers for you. So if you're looking for pointers about how to do better with your craft shows this season, make sure that you watch all five videos with this color background here on this channel, follow my account, and of course, go check out that podcast episode with Tanya Elliott on Tech Challenge Makers Conquer E-Commerce. And then finally, this was the last day about craft shows. Tomorrow, we're going to be talking about wholesale. So if you'd like to know more about wholesale for your business, go ahead and join us tomorrow. Don't forget to like this video, follow my account, and I hope to see you tomorrow. I am so glad that we get to live our dreams together every single day, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.